Hello everybody, um, very nice to see you. It is my Friday update um, from Chilton Trinity School and uh, it is the 26th of February and uh, what a week it's been. It's been incredibly busy here and I think that you'll be really clear about the announcements that have been coming out and different headlines that you'll have seen about testing, home testing, catch up, summer schools, exams. Um, I'm hopefully going to use this video message and also the letters that have been coming out this week just to just to clarify a few things for you. I think it's um, it's important to look at the detail. It's important to look beyond the headlines. OK, so um, you have had a number of letters from me this week. Um, the details have been coming out at different stages about what the return to school will look like for students. So let me kind of give you a summary about where we are. Um, so the Prime Minister on Monday outlined a roadmap for the return to whatever normality will look like, um, hopefully this summer and um, hopefully we get to see our families, our friends um, really quite soon. You know, I, I still haven't seen mum and dad and I cannot wait to see mum and dad and uh, my new nephew um, who's about five months old now and who I've not met. That is a hardship for myself. But actually, that's a, every single person has got different hardships that they that they have and have had to live with. So um, the roadmap announced that schools, uh, children would all be back from March the 8th. OK, now what they also said was about testing. Now, you know that testing is voluntary and we've had uh, the consent line closed this morning. OK, so we're putting all of that together to give people times. But what we're looking at is two lateral flow tests before students come back. So next Wednesday and next Thursday, uh, that'll be done alphabetically. The reason we're doing it alphabetically is so if you've got two or three children, then it means you only have to come in once and they can all come together. Um, so next Wednesday and Thursday, then the second test will be on Monday, the 8th of March. Once a student has tested, they will go straight home. OK, if the test is negative, that student can come in the next day. If the test is positive, then obviously that student will have to self isolate for 10 days alongside um, close contacts. Now, the reason we're going home that day is so actually we reduce the number of close contacts. And it means that every single member of the community, OK, every student can come back on Tuesday morning at 830, line ups outside, straight into tutor time, straight into lesson one. And, you know, let's just get cracking. All right. We cannot wait to really, really see you again, get into the classrooms, really push on that learning. And, you know, um, the teachers that I've all spoken to, we're, we're super excited, really, because sitting and doing this remotely is not in our best interest and it's not in our nature okay so actually we're really looking forward to doing that but doing it safely okay and that's really important so the third lateral flow test will be later on that week okay and that will be on the thursday and the friday now on site they will be the lateral flow tests having had three students will then be given home tests they are for the individual students not families okay they will be coupled with instructions. Um, my wife has been doing home tests for the last um, six weeks because she works in a, in a PRU in Western Supermare. So she's had to do her home tests for the last six weeks. They're quite simple. They're quite straightforward, um, but it will take a little bit of time to just get used to that. OK, but again, just to reiterate that that is for the students use only. OK, um, so, yeah, we cannot wait for students to come back in. Uh, those students who are on buses, by the way, the buses will come next week, hopefully at 830 on the Thursday and then on the Monday. And we, what we're doing is getting the buses to wait so then they can take students home. So hopefully that will ease some people's concerns if you live out in Puritan or if you live out in Woolavington. OK, so um, so that should really help as well. We're expecting all students coming back in on Tuesday, the 9th of March, therefore, in full school uniform. If there's PE that day, students will get changed. OK, they'll get changed in the changing rooms and we're putting safety precautions in for that. Um, however, we expect everybody back in in uniform, please. And I think that's really important to get back into the habits of good practice, high expectations. Um, the students have been back in uniform this week when they're in school. And um, 
And for us, it's really important to get those expectations back to where they, they were and where they need to be. And, and as families, I think it's important to start talking about those now together and saying, this is what we're going to be expecting. That um, we'll be um, back, back following the same behaviour policies, same routines. And, um, and I've heard that some students, particularly year 10 and year 11, are struggling to get up in the morning. So um, maybe that alarm needs to get a bit of practice and, uh, and, get, and getting up nice and early, okay? Um, the final point regarding that is that details will come out about your time slots next early next week. And we're just putting that together because the consent forms were closed at nine o'clock this morning. The other people who I really want to speak to, um, and that is year 11, okay? And uh, year 11 yesterday had um, all their details being uh, coming from the government, coming from um, Ofqual, who are the awarding kind of body for exams, about how their grades are going to be calculated and determined this year. Now, a bit of a summary would be that we as teachers, we as a school, we will be determining those based on evidence. And that evidence will be moderated. It'll be moderated internally and externally to make sure that we are marking fairly, that we are creating a bank of evidence that is consistent, not only within our school, but across a number of schools and nationally. So um, I was super proud of the way that we as a school dealt with the centre assessed grades last year. And I do everything with integrity. And this whole process will be done with integrity. And so it will be open. We will communicate with you as families, as students at all times. And yesterday genuinely should give our year 11s a lot more confidence. I know they're finding it difficult. I know the uncertainty has created stress and undue stress in some places, but actually that should now be really clear about what we're going to be doing. And the work that you do now and the work that you do in the next month, two months, three months, that is crucial. OK, yes, there won't be exams, but there will be assessments. There will be testing your knowledge. There will be looking at your work that you've been doing in your book, your homework, your attitude to learning, your engagement in remote learning. All of these things matter. And so year 11s, when you do come back, first and foremost, we're going to be excited to see you. But there will be that need to just write less crack on. OK, let's really use that time in school effectively. And um, and I think that that's the best thing, actually. So it's not wasted time. There's still some questions, for example, um, about when your 11s will leave, uh, about <coughs> about what about what the actual awarding um, grades in for coursework might look like. But those details will come out in due course. And a letter has gone out today to year 11s with some more details around that. I will make it clear that uh, GCSE results day this year has been brought forward to Thursday, August the 12th, and um, that is to allow for some appeals. And um, what we will do throughout is keep people as informed as possible. OK, so when it comes to any appeals, which some people might not be happy, some people will be happy, then we will um, we will obviously kind of let you know more. OK, so next week is the final week of remote learning and, uh, you know, students really well done. Parents, carers, really, really well done. Um, it, it, it has been frustrating and it is frustrating, but there's things that are positive. Remote learning and the use of technology in learning is not going to go anywhere. How exciting it is to be connected to different parts of the world, to be connected to each other. How great for the environment would it be if we don't have to drive everywhere? Yes, I miss human contact and human discussion and social interaction as much as anybody. But each of our students have developed resilience, agility, OK, um, independence. They've had things that maybe other students haven't. Time with family, exercise, being at one with nature in some cases. So there are positives to come out about it. And I'm not going to be using negative language about what's happened. Our school cannot wait to see students come back in really get back into the learning, enjoy being with each other, create the experiences that students potentially have missed out on. And that's what we're going to be doing. Really, really looking forward. And um, and uh, yes, yeah, speaking of looking forward, uh, it's the uh, I have mentioned rugby a couple of times. And of course, it's the big game this weekend and um, England v Wales. Normally, 
when I've got a thousand students in here, I get a load of grief. Um, thankfully, Mr. Williams has joined us, who's another Welshman, and uh, he can he can kind of share that share that grief with me. But um, yeah, looking forward to the England Wales game this weekend, and um, I think the thing that we're most looking forward to is just seeing our students in school and feeling a school to be what it should be positive full of energy full of promise and um and we cannot wait thank you ever so much thank you for listening i hope that's helped and please feel free to get in touch if you have any queries any questions you know that you know the details you know the contact and just please look at the website and uh, look after yourself and stay safe thank you <laughs>